Guys, I will literally not stop opening up Champion's Path until we pull this Charizard VMAX Ultra Rare that is literally worth over $500. We're gonna pull it in this video, guys. Mark my words, we are going to pull it right now. What's good everybody, Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. Now before we get into the video entirely, let me go ahead and say I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas because Christmas was literally a couple days ago and I know I didn't upload on Christmas Day, but I did do a compilation after Christmas and I do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you want to watch it link is in the description it's probably one of the most scariest compilations you will ever watch but now that we got that out of the way in this video right here we have one objective everybody one single objective and that is to pull the rainbow rare charizard v max ultra rare from champion's path and you know how we're gonna do it? Opening up Pokemon packs, of course. So check this out, bro. This is what we're opening in today's video. I have a bunch of these Hatterini boxes, these V boxes that each have four booster packs. I found a couple of these a while back are targets and I decided to cop them all, you feel me? So we're opening up a total of 20 booster packs in today's video so i hope you guys are excited for today's video if you are make sure you guys smash that like button right now because for every like we get on this video it increases our chances in pulling that charizard and also if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe enjoy the ghoul army and welcome and if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army then you could be featured in a video like the individuals that you see on the screen but guys we're gonna go ahead and full send it and i have the star of the show ready to go so let me just go ahead and open up this first box actually let me not waste y'all's time in opening up the boxes one by one let me open up every single box so give me one second or give me a million years one eternity later. Alright y'all, after all of those years, we finally got the boxes opened and y'all get to have all of the code cards that came within the box. So Merry Christmas, or Merry Late Christmas, I should say. And then obviously we have the promo card right here. We have five copies of these promo cards and i'm most likely going to give some of these cards away on my instagram so if you guys are not following me on social medias what is you doing bro follow me on the socials links are in the description and i'll put my usernames on the screen as well and then obviously you get a jumbo version of these promo cards right here but the best part is the packs themselves and we have 20 packs of Champion's Path ready to go and loaded with multiple Charizards. So let's get it, guys. We got pack number one. Let's see if we can start things off with a banger. Or we're just going to get probably a Scrafty Holographic because that Holographic follows me everywhere. So we got ourselves a Fighting Energy to start things off ladies and gentlemen and i know the year is coming to an end and there's going to be a lot of videos popping off before the year ends and then when the brand new year comes of 2021 that is when the ghoul army is going to take over my guy mark my words we got a pokeball purloin and then we have a lucario v to start things off let's go man we got a banger to start off the opening, that is a very, very good sign right there, man. Let's go ahead and put that as a star of the show. Y'all already know my boy Lucario is a GOAT, man. Especially with that Aura Sphere action, bro. Lucario's underrated, man. Definitely underrated. 
and I actually like using Lucario in Super Smash Bros, in case you guys did not know. So we got ourselves a Galarian Zigzagoon, we got the Machop, Swablu, Nickit, we got a Marnie Reverse! Wow, I really wish I pulled that earlier before I traded for a Marnie Reverse, but we finally got a Marnie Reverse, and we have the Scrafty Holographic that I was talking about. So let's keep it going, man. We got the Lucario, the Scrafty. Y'all already know our main objective, bro. We are looking for that Charizard. Charizard VMAX, where are you at, my guy? Because I need you in my master set. I'm literally missing like two cards from this set, bro. So we got a Sizzlipede, Roly Coley, and we have the full art Gardevoir V, everybody. Check that out. I feel like Gardevoir is probably one of the easiest cards to get from this set, you feel me? And we are definitely going to switch out the star of the show because the full arts, they deserve more love, you feel me? Sometimes people don't appreciate full arts as much as I do. I don't know. That's just me, though. Obviously, it's opinion. If you like full arts from Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, Black and White, etc., but for me personally, I love Full Arts equally because I love the detail. And I don't know, I just really love Full Art Pokemon cards. So let's see. We got our Galarian Lanoon, Hyper Potion, and we have an Altaria Holographic. And in case you guys didn't notice, I've been doing a lot of polls here on the channel. Just random Pokemon questions. I feel like it's better if I make a community post on these Pokemon questions because I always forget... To include a question in the videos you feel me so i feel like doing a poll is a pretty effective way of doing it y'all so we got ourselves a rock rough potion and we have a machamp holographic so so far we're doing all right as far as pulls go we got a full art we got a regular v card we got a couple holographics but we don't have a secret rare yet keyword yet so we got the water energy in our next pack we got the homie hop actually scratch that he's not the homie because he's annoying absolutely annoying we got machop hyper potion and we have the marnie holographic i don't know why i was so excited for the hundredth marnie hollow that i pull you feel me i have no idea why but guys, I'm really excited for my shiny Charizard V to come back from being graded, bro. Because it's like not my first PSA card that I go get graded, but it's one of the first. Like, I don't think I've ever graded more than 10 cards to PSA or anything along those lines. So this Charizard, it's huge, my guy. It is huge. So we got a Pokeball followed by another Altaria hollow and best believe i will be doing a video once that charizard comes back from psa because i'm curious if we hit that 10 if we hit that 10 then that charizard will easily go for a thousand dollars plus you feel me but obviously if you keep it it will definitely go up even more over time so check this out bro we got ourselves a machop and we have a lichen rock followed by a professor's research but aside from all that guys how was your christmas let me know in the comments down below i couldn't ask this in the compilation video because it wasn't a sit down opening type video you feel me it was basically highlights of other videos like i always do when the end of the year comes and best believe we're gonna do best pulls of 2020 as well because we always do it in the end of every year so we got ourselves a Psychic type, a Lycan Rock, and we have the Dredna V Max Ultra Rare. Everybody, another card that I wish I pulled earlier because I actually traded for this card over on Instagram. So now we have the Dredna V Max. I am gonna actually switch off the Guardi for the Dredna V Max because I don't know. I feel like V Maxes are better than full arts right or am i tripping bro like they're basically full arts but v max full arts or am i just straight tripping i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but i feel like they're better 
or more rare than v max is correct me if i'm wrong though but that's just my opinion we got the potion the ekans the arbok and we have the galarian obstagoon let's see how many packs we have left though we got three four five six seven eight nine ten it is literally crunch time right now bro it is literally crunch time halfway through and we have yet to see that charizard that we are desperately so searching for bro i need that card before the year ends i need it because there is Shining Fates, another set with a ton of shiny Pokemon. And it also has a Charizard in the set. And I already know it's going to be a pain to complete that master set as well, bro. It is absolutely crazy for Pokemon. And then a brand new set called Battle Styles is coming out as well. Which is crazy, bro. It is crazy. So many new Pokemon cards are about to be released. And I'm not even done with Champion's Path, Vivid Voltage, because I basically want to pull most of my cards. I will only trade if I have to, or if it's like within the community, you feel me? I'll never like buy the cards on my own time, because I want everything to be special for that Master Set journey, you feel me? So we got ourselves the Carvana, we got the Rodon Phone, and we have the Santa Scorch Holographic. So next up, we have the birthday cake. All I ever wanted for Christmas was a birthday cake. Or some Champion's Path, I might add. So here is the code card right there. And let's see, man, we got a Fire Energy. That's a sign. That is a sign. And I see something. Okay. Okay. Shh. I see something. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Three two one it's an incineroar v ultra rare man i thought it was gonna be something but it did match with that fire energy so i was low-key kind of right you know it was a sign that it was a fire type maybe not a charizard but it's something bro it is something but let's keep the show rolling with a galarian obstagoon booster pack so let's see man let's see and also let me know if you guys are pulling bangers from your code cards because i always like to know if you guys are actually pulling some heat heat from those code cards you feel me so we got ourselves a great ball followed by another galarian obstagoon holographic which i'm absolutely tired of seeing these holographics don't get me wrong I love holographics. I absolutely love them. But it gets tiring when you're trying to hunt for a card and you're opening up a set that offers a hollow in every pack and now you end up with like 50,000 copies of the same hollow. It gets tiring, bro. It gets tiring. So we got the Kakuna and the Marnie holographic. So we're now near and dear to the end, guys. We're almost there. Not quite there. But almost, you feel me? So let's go ahead and do four. We got a fire energy. Y'all know what this means. Every time it's a fire energy, it might be a Zard. We got a Swablu, Ekans, Sharpedo. And we have the Dredna V Full Art. At this point, I believe most of the Ultra Rares, Secret Rares, Full Arts from this set are worth below ten dollars correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm right on that so we got ourselves the full art version of that dreadna v max full art question mark but we got ourselves a guardy booster pack but after this gardevoir pack right here we have three packs left and we're probably gonna pray to lord helix that we get the chosen pack you feel me it's basically an alternative to the chosen one so we got ourselves the fighting energy. We got the Sonya, aka baby girl. You feel me? So we got ourselves the Rock Rough, Zigzagoon, Professor's Research, followed by Machamp. So we got three packs left, guys. Literally three packs left, and our main target is the Zard. The Rainbow Zard, to be more specific. So I think the birthday cake is gonna have it. The birthday cake is definitely going to have the Charizard. Let's hope to lord helix or pray i should say pray not hope let's pray to lord helix that it's inside there 
I don't know if we should do a prayer before we open up that pack, but we about to find out. We got an Ekans, Nicket, Raleigh, Coley, Victini, followed by a Lycanroc. Okay, second to last pack, guys. Second to last pack. And that pack opened up so easily. Let's see if these are tampered. Let me find out, Target. Let me find out. We about to have some problems if that's the case. We got a Rolly Coley, Trubbish, Vulpix, Absol, and a Marnie. Okay. So, guys, this pack right here, it's the final pack. Yes. But it is also the pack to contain the Rainbow Zard. Let's see if I'm right. Lord Helix. Don't let your boy down, but let's go ahead and open up the final pack of Destiny, guys. Here is the code card, which also contains a Charizard in that code card. And let's get it, guys. We got a Fire Energy! That's low-key a good sign, because what type is Charizard? A Fire type, bro. Charizard is a Fire type. So we got an Ekans, Machop. Nickit, Lanoon, Galarian Lanoon, we got a Beatty, and the final card in this opening is none other than another Dreadnought V Full Art. Man, if this was like Vivid Voltage and it was a Full Art from Vivid, I wouldn't mind. But another Dreadnought V Full Art, everybody. That is crazy. I was honestly expecting a Charizard. Man, that Charizard is very tough to pull, bro. We are literally this close on completing a master set for Champion's Path. And they do me dirty like these. You feel me? They do me dirty like this. That's so messed up, Pokemon. But it's all good. It's all good. We had fun hunting for the Charizard. And best believe, I'm not done yet. I am far from being done hunting for this Charizard, bro. But it is not going to switch off the star of the show. But although we didn't pull the Charizard, guys, look at all of these ultra rares that we got from 20 packs. We got ourselves a full art, double full arts. We got a regular V, another full art, and then we have a Lucario, a bunch of holographics, five promo cards right here, followed by these ultra rares which makes the recap look insane and then the star of the show is none other than the dredna v max ultra rare so guys all in all it was a very very great opening a ton of full arts in today's recap if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you guys smash that like button and like i said we're still hunting for that zard so best believe there will be more champions path openings in the future but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace